thanks for watching Sailing Queen Jane. This week, it's all about arriving in the Marshalls and the beautiful skies and the beautiful lagoon and being in Majuro and um, conquering the evil rat who tried to stow away. Ha! Nothing worse. That was probably the worst week of my life was the week that that rat lived on this boat. But we're moving along. It's in the past. I'm letting it go. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Click thumbs up if you like the video and enjoy. Our time at Tara is at an end. We're all fueled up and ready to push north. All right, today we leave for the Marshall Islands. Hope it's a good trip. Little did I know that a rat had swum out, climbed her chain, and uh, decided to, uh, you know, come with us to the Marshalls. This is my homemade rat trap. They climb up there. They go for the peanut butter and they fall in. See if it works. The homemade trap didn't work and the rat continued to scurry around until we arrived in the marshals. Horrific. Just terrific. This has been a tiring last couple of months. From Wallace to Majuro is 1,500 miles. Of course, we stopped in Funafuti and Tarawa, but still. A lot of work, a lot of sailing, some bad weather, um, or difficult weather to sail in. It's a special feeling coming into the Majuro Lagoon. 20 years ago, we spent a year here on the Queen Jane, and it remains one of our fondest memories of our cruising years back in the early 2000s. Nothing feels better after a long passage than coming through a pass having calm water and knowing you're going to drop anchor soon and sleep and relax. When we arrived, we rushed to the hardware store, bought glue traps, and in the, in the middle of the night, the little so-and-so came out to eat some cheese that I left on the trap and we got him! He sleeps with the fishes now. I really love the anchorage here. It's just a great view, beautiful skies. I mean, yeah, there's some junky ships, but... I don't know, adds character to the place. Enjoying being here in the Marshalls. Just enjoying knowing that we're not going to have to make any, you know, 500,000 mile passages for the next five months. This year has been really exhausting. And it's kind of been cumulative, like I thought after making the jump from Mexico to French Polynesia, I thought, oh, yeah, I got, you know, I got my energy back. And then, you know, we kept moving really fast. I mean, we only had a three month uh, visa for French Polynesia, so we had to move fast. 
Um, and then um, we have to start moving west so then we could go uh, be in the right position to go north to the Marshalls uh, before hurricane season starts or, or started. Technically it's already started. But we're here so it's all good. There's a bunch of boats here this year. Uh, there's a boat Horizon is parked, anchored, parked, <laughs> parked right in front of us, anchored right in front of us. Uh, also, uh, Totem is here. A couple of boats are already up uh, visiting the atolls up north. And uh, so tomorrow night's the uh, weekly dinner and I'll go we're gonna go and meet everybody who's here the Mako Beach Yacht Club has a bunch of moorings out by two uh, outer motus in the lagoon so uh, it's a nice place when you get tired of town go out grab a mooring snorkel the wreck snorkel the reef And here we are at Anamonet, enjoying a beautiful, beautiful sunset. I love the sky around here. It's just like a beautiful painting that changes every minute. I read recently that the way to find greater happiness in your life is to experience awe at least once a day. And I guess I have that checked off my list because I just look at the sky here and I'm in awe. We are in beautiful Majro. We're out at an anchorage called Anamonet. It's about maybe uh, five miles from town. Getting away for the weekend. It's kind of nice. The um, local yacht club put moorings here so people don't um, destroy the coral. And uh, it's just peaceful, a lot less activity than town, um, but it's nice to have an option to go back and forth. We're waiting on our permits for the outer atolls. Uh, you have to apply to each atoll, to each mayor, through a central office. It's pretty straightforward. You pay a modest fee, and then you get to go visit and hang out at the whatever tolls. So we're going to go to Our and Maloe Lap, which is just north, and uh, hang out there, I think, for December. It'll be our little holiday trip. I ain't afraid of the dark Cause once you let the light in You won't see the beautiful stars Shining down no, I ain't afraid of the dark I don't mind the rain Bringing life back We can breathe again When dealing with the pain No, I don't mind the rain Ooh, That's the way it goes
So we get back to town, dropped anchor, and about a half hour later, the squall pops up from nowhere. 30 knots, 30 to topping out at, you know, 42 to 45 gusts for three or four hours. It was pretty crazy. Still waiting on my GoPro, but I had um, extra coverage with them and uh, they're sending me a new one. So I'm so excited to get my GoPro back because I want to go snorkeling and diving and show you some of the beautiful underwater things here in the Marshall Islands. Um, so soon, coming next.